what I'm doing today, I'm making a, a jo fashion jock. I'm going to be attaching a pouch to a waistband. Now, I want it to look really nice. This is a retail fashion jock. <clears throat> How they did this one was they did a cover stitch. You could just see the stitching on the black here. And this is the, the reverse of it. I'm going to try and do something like that on my home sewing machine. I have a cover stitch, but it doesn't look as tight and as nice as this on the reverse. But I have a couple of stitches on my sewing machine that can kind of look like that. This is a single stitch honeycomb, and this is a double stitch honeycomb. This is one thread, one stitch for the honeycomb. This is two per. I'm going to be using the two per because I think it just looks a little nicer both on the front and the back. Yeah. I've already got the waistband made. I need to attach this onto this and make it look nice. So the easiest way to do that is with Wonder Tape. Double stick wash away tape. I buy it in the big reels like this. It's a lot cheaper than the retail. Just get me a piece here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the waistband first. This would be on the inside of the waistband. It's the double stick part of it stuck here, so going to have to improvise. I'm going to put it right about where I want it. Then you press it down with the backing on here so it doesn't stick to your fingers. Then you peel the backing off. Then you can position your garment onto the tape versus pinning it on. And what I want to do is when I stitch it, I want the stitching to be right near the edge. So I'm going to be lining this up, this raw edge with the just over top of the edge of the wash away tape. And you push it down. Now what we're going to do is take this over to the sewing machine and do the honeycomb stitch on this side so I can make sure I'm lining it up well. And this is going to be black on black, so it's kind of hard to see when I'm sewing it. But for the finished garment being black on black, the front will look really nice. Position this the best you can. And then the start of this one, my machine has where you could either backstitch it or plunge 
in in the one spot. I have it set to plunge in the one spot, so it has a cleaner start and stop. So it's going to plunge. Now the start is always the trickiest part. Sometimes you have to guide it a little bit to get it started. It's hung up on the foot a little. Raise the presser foot to get the... It's not a very quick stitch, so you have to take your time. With the decorative stitches on your sewing machine, it's best to sew at a slightly slower speed than you normally would. Now I'm coming up to the center seam of the pouch. And it's trying to send it off center a little bit, so I'm just going to readjust it, sew a little bit. Readjust it again. Because I want it to be as vertical as possible, not skewed one way or the other. It's going through this center seam, so it's grinding a little bit, but it's okay. Lift up and reposition if you need to. Sorry if my fingers are in the way, but I have to sew this on correctly. Does the bobbin up and down to end the doing the start and stop? My machine has an automatic cutter, so I cut it. 
And this is the inside. I'm trying to get it so the light can catch some of it. And then this would be the front exterior. So it looks nice and clean. I still have to trim off the little all the way down and it's right here on the edge so it looks like a retail garment and on the inside since I sewed it really close to the edge and it's knit fabric it won't really fray it looks just as well as a retail garment This is the interiors, this is the exterior. The retail garment and my garment. But see how it looks like it's pretty much as nice as a factory made garment?